and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, And Bob. today we also consider ourselves ergonomic experts. And that's what the title of this today's program, Ergonomic, ergonomic Expert <laughs> Explains How to Set Up Home Office to Prevent Pain. Obviously, a lot of you are working from home now. Brad right. and I are working from home. Mike's doing work at home. And you need to set up your home office, and you're going to find out very quickly if you set it up incorrectly, pain is going to start developing in multiple areas. And then you end up to your work does not you're not near as productive. Yeah, you, end you up get suffering. ornery. It's no good. So we're going to show you the pro proper way. Brad and I have had training in this. Mm -hmm. I've actually uh, had a friend that wrote an entire book on it, right? And I reviewed it for him years ago. So we got a lot of expertise in this area. Ah, uh, by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, if you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section. We're always mm. doing a contest, giving away something. Oh, where are Behind we? Behind you. Oh, there. There it is. We're giving away a Thermatex Far Infrared Heating System. Really cool because this heat penetrates 2.46 inches. 3.6. Three six inches versus regular heat, which which just penetrates a a couple of millimeters. Skin deep. Yeah. Uh you will find the contest also on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram if you want a 60-second version of our program. Okay, we've got a lot to cover today, so let's start off. The first thing you want to look at is your chair. Um I you don't want to have one of those chairs with kind of a flex back. You want a solid back chair. We're going to show you a chair, an office chair that's fairly reasonable at the end of the video. Right now, I'm just going to assume you're going to find a chair in your house. Sure. And what you're going to want to do is, like I said, have a pretty good solid back. And ideally, you want to have it so that your knees are just slightly higher than your hips. Now, in my case, even here, as tall as I am, what are they? How are they looking, Brad? I would say you're a little higher. Yeah, you you like you like the knees taller than the hips, slightly higher. Slightly. That's if you want to be perfectly right. A right angle is probably pretty good sure. too. Mm -hmm. Now, for a lot of you, if you're shorter and you're getting pressure underneath your thigh like this, right. cut off pressure. Um, you want to go ahead and use a little bit of a something to place your foot on. You can use a mat or something. The wider ones and the deeper ones are better because they give you plenty of room to move your feet. Right. If you feel your feet swinging, you know, you're too short and you can't adjust your chair. Uh, I've had people just come up with uh, like a piece of plywood with some sure. two by fours underneath. Had a, uh, a worker that her husband made it for her at work and it worked out really yep. well. Yep. This is nice because it's very comfortable. Um, next thing, I do think for a lot of you, you're going to probably want to get some back support. Um, this is actually the support that Brad uses in your car, right? I use it in my car. I use it on my lawnmower and, uh, and in my recliner. Yeah. And I don't like this one in my car, but I actually do like it in my office chair because I, I push it up like this. It's got straps on it and it hits me right in the spot I want mm -hmm. it to hit. Yeah. And every once in a while I can just lean back and take a rest. It happens so. to be a memory foam and it really works well. I, I found it to be one of the best back supports i've used it's a kibota kibota k i think you'll find out as if you're a slimmer person as i consider myself yeah you have less curves so you may not want as much curves mm -hmm. if you're a, a a little larger person with a little bit more ample buttocks yeah you might have more of a curve and you may want to use more of a, a back support sure. there. that's a very personal thing you may take a roll towel to start off with yep and just strap it on the chair um but Eventually, you can, you know, discover what you're going to need right. if, if you work on it. Uh, so that's basically the chair. We um, got the footrest. We got the, uh, we talk about on some chairs, they have a teardrop, teardrop front. Yeah, that's kind of nice to have that edge rounded there. Right, because that's uncomfortable. My wife actually, we set her up. We actually, she sits on one of these cushions too. Those are nice cushions. These are nice cushions. They're very that's very comfortable. It is. It is. I've, I use one outside on my lawn chair in the cool. Well, it's cool now. Right. It's really comfortable and it's warm. Yep. So it covers a lot of areas there. Next thing, we're going to look at the keyboard. 
Now, well, what, Bob, you got this up so high. Here. I know. I know. So this is not set up for that chair. No, but I can actually, I have a couple of things going on here. Okay. So normally, wow. if you just have a desk, you're going to want your keyboard. How am I doing here? Am I getting close? Yep, to you're, right you're right pretty angle? darn close right there, right Bob. Right there. So you're going to have the keyboard at a right, you want your elbow at basically a right angle this part of this upper bone the humerus humerus is actually going to be vertical mm -hmm. this is going to be almost horizontal but maybe a little bit sl slightly slanted up or a little slightly slanted down right exactly so you don't want to uh have it so that you're like this and you definitely don't want to be like this you're working on the shoulder all day long then right. it's a lot of stress on it so that's kind of a critical part here because when, when you're working with the keyboard a lot or the mouse, which we also don't want to have to reach for, that should be right next to it. Right. At, again, at the right angle. Over time, it starts to get overuse injuries. This is nice to have the option where the keyboard is set lower on a lower surface than what your computer's on. And we've got more to talk about at the computer screen yet. So this isn't exactly where we want it. Even but. when you're picking a desk, Brad, you got to watch out that you don't pick one of those desks that real thick with drawers. Oh, sure. Because you're going to hit your knees on right. it. Right. You know, you, you've got to have the keyboard down low enough so you can see a, a thinner desk like this works a lot better. Right. Right. So, but again, we this is kind of a weird situation here. We've got actually, this is a desk that goes up and down, mm -hmm. but we also have a desk riser on top of it. So this is actually what I use in my house. This isn't the one, but this is one that I use. And it's really nice because you just, you can go, you can sit or you can stand. Sure. So I do, and I do a variety of it based on the time of the day. Right. But it works really well. And it's got, like you said, the keyboard down lower and the screen up higher. And the option to sit or stand while you're working. You can sit for 20 minutes. Raise it up, stand for 10, 15, or 20 minutes, depending on what's the comfort level for you. And try to get some movement in there along with it. Walking is really important somewhere right. during the day. Now, so we got the keyboard set. We got the mouse set. Now you're going to want to make sure the screen. This is where a lot of people make a mistake, especially, as you see, I, this is actually my cute computer. I have it hooked up on arms, basically. So I have two screens. I have this and another screen. And they're raised up on arms so that they're actually, this should Here. be up high enough. I'll hold it for you, yeah, Bob. That my eyes hit probably almost the top of the screen. Sure. Did so, you like have your wife hold this for a while? Yeah, that's for you a what while? I do. I have her hold it and then she gets <laughs> tired and then we have to get somebody else to come in, substitute. But we do have, we had some boxes here, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you you know you can buy nice adjusters for your screen right. if you want. Right, and that's what you're going to want to do. Um, you're not going to. You can just use boxes; it it works. Well, if you guys aren't as tall as me, you can probably just use a couple books too. Sure. Right. So this shows you. Look what a difference this is. But look at what okay. posture I'm. I'm not like this, hunched over. The other thing that was huge for me, Brad, is I have bifocals. Yes. And I was like this. No matter where I put it, I was still like this. So he's leaning forward and he's got his head tilted back. These occipital muscles and the nerves back there are going to get stressed and, and headaches. And that's what was happening. I was getting headaches yep. here. So I just bought some glasses and the eye doctor knew right away what I needed. He said, this is going to be set for 40 inches. Okay. And so I put this on. It's just reading glasses for 40 inches. Yeah, and versus having to yep. get close. Exactly. So I'm like this. It's just beautiful. I just do. I use these all the look time. Look at the camera. So they can, he's, he's, they're not good looking, but you know. Well, the glasses are, all look nice, but <laughs> what they're you know we what won't go there. What they're perched on is not good. So um, this these are both flexa spot desks, by the way. Right, this right is here, a, a, a flexa spot. And this is a this is a desk riser. These are fairly. Uh, reasonable for right. price mm -hmm. and these have come down too right so we'll put a link below. if this is something you're going to work on on a regular basis and it's going to save you uh back pain as a matter of fact uh we had a person she was working back pain consistently in a seated position she got a, a desk like this i don't know if it's a flexi spot but she went to a standing position back pain gone yeah I've, I've seen that more than once because you sit for so long you're in that kind of slumped routed yep. out position and if you can stand up and, and, and even your neck too, you often oh, get in better the, posture. The whole so. works. Um, also, I got my clock here, Brad. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a neat little clock. 
what you do is I, I try to stay focused for like 30 minutes on something. Yeah. All I do is flip it like this, and it sets a timer then for 30 minutes. What does this got to do with the, Nothing, the desk? I'm just telling you how I have my desk set up at home. <laughs> and I have my sign, focus, oh, stay yes. focused. Yes, good. So, so well, he, he's working on his, uh, his comfort as well as efficiency here. Bob, yeah. what about standing? We didn't really go through all. Yeah. Because so do now, you sit all the time or do you no, actually? No, I, again, I, I use the stand. I just put, use this, the desk riser, and I lift up. Now, but that's you really had, not tall enough for you. Well, it isn't set now enough. The desk I'm on, it is. Well, you I can have, raise this desk up now. Yeah, I can raise Show this them. desk up. The combination is, is kind of nice to have for. And Brad, you, what you like to have with this is a stool, right? You I do like stool? a stool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab this adjustable one, Bob. Oh, sure. I like the color of it better anyways. Remember, we got to leave a little time to go over this chair, oh, too, Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll adjust that. What's nice about a stool is <clears throat> you're kind of halfway in between sitting and standing. So you're, it's a lot easier on your back. Yeah. We, Brad and I know this from working with people in the factories. Um, they, a lot of them had this where they were on machinery, and they could they could get a rest off their feet, but still work. I mean, I could still, still function here and, and sit for a little bit. I've, I'm adjusted here. This is for Bob, but I would have this adjusted so it would be good here, and I could stand and easily go up a few inches with it. Stand. I like to stand more than I sit, but after I stand for a while. With my, my spondylolisthesis, that hurts a little bit, so that I sit, makes a big difference. Oh, feels good. And then go back and forth. All right, Brad, do you want to oh, yes. talk about, this is the Tribe Signs T18. This is a fairly reasonably priced chair, and uh, we were sent one of these quite a while back, and my staff really liked this. They, I mean, they, they all kind of uh, have adapted to it. So... Um, it actually, yeah, it'll go up and down. It actually does have an adjustment. You can flip back and forth a little bit. Yep. Uh, oh, Brad, that's got to be out. There we go. Yep. There we go. We can lock it back there. We would never suggest you work this way, but if you want to take a break and just relax, you know, for a few minutes just to uh, unwind or whatever. Yeah, it's got the adjustable arms. Oh, it's yeah. It's got the, the headrest that kind of goes up and down a little bit. And it's actually got an adjustable lumbar support, too. Can we go up with it, Bob? Yeah, we can go up. All right, there's a little lever here. We pull it forward. And, and then we'll all push back, and then it comes there forward. There we again, go. Yeah. Yep. It's and got a nice lumbar support that is adjustable. And I that really goes up like and down. That. You can actually reach back with your arms, and it does go back and up. And so a decent chair for the price. I mean, uh, um, if, if you want to spend a little money, and it's comfortable, and it has, has good support. So. Right. Anything else you want to add, Brad? No, no. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty much exhausted here, Bob. I, yeah, we covered a lot of areas. Sorry <laughs> about that, but it's all important. Thanks for watching.